Boom. All right, what's up, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. We are back from our trip to the world's first NFT gated arts and music festival. And although it was an amazing experience, I was more than ready to get back into the lab and record some content for you guys. So I'm happy we're here and I figured what better way to dive back into it than by talking about a few of our favorite metaverse cryptocurrencies, Decentraland and Sandbox, because these two are looking absolutely amazing right now from both a technical and fundamental perspective all right the market as a whole is looking strong right now it has been gaining strength over the past week but metaverse cryptocurrencies the metaverse subsector has been looking especially appealing to me right now there's a lot of fundamental catalysts a lot of pieces of news that are very bullish that have been coming out recently which we will of course be diving into and you know we have to dive into the charts at the end of the video and talk about some price action because i have some pretty damn optimistic price targets for you as you can kind of see in front of us a little teaser but i will justify these and uh hey maybe we will see them it's crypto i would not be surprised at all but again we will dive into the charts at the very end of the video and talk about some of these very optimistic price targets but of course we do have to cover the fundamentals and understand what's going on underneath the service first and to understand why it is possible um, from a price action perspective to see some of these price targets okay so let's go over every tab that i want to share with you guys and then we'll dive into each one individually all right in front of us of course is trading view where we'll be taking a look at the central line and sandbox on the charts today but again that is for the end of the video next to that we do have coin market cap the simple reason we have this here is just take a look at the past 24 hour and seven day price action that Decentraland and Sandbox have been seeing. Also wanna take a look at players like Axie Infinity and ApeCoin, the infamous ApeCoin that was just released last week. We will dive into that a little bit, but these are a couple of the fundamentals that I was mentioning in the intro just now, and I guess I'm mentioning now, but these are just some of the things going on in the greater metaverse subsector. Um, I guess play to earn game specifically but that does fall under the metaverse um metaverse category of the overall cryptocurrency market so i just want to give you guys my two cents on those we're not going to get super deep on the play to earn gaming maybe one day let me know in the comments down below if you want me to dive into like apecoin and axie infinity etc but i do just want to tie these in to players like decentraland and sandbox and why i believe these are these are good signs and these are steps in the right direction when it comes to once again the metaverse subsector of the crypto market overall okay so again just here take a look at market cap take a look at 24 7 uh, seven day price action um and then we do have to talk about what is a very very exciting event for decentraland so decentraland eyes rally ahead of metaverse fashion week so first ever metaverse fashion week absolutely blockbuster we'll dive into this read over a few key points here um and again, you guys, this we, we've been covering so much, so much tangible events that have been that have been bringing the uh, the, the metaverse space forward. And uh, this is another one. There's so many reputable brands that are partnering with Decentraland in order to execute this. And again, we'll dive into it a little bit later. But it's just so cool to see that in such a short period of time, there's so much happening in in this. Uh, again, what is <laughs> by by pretty much every standard and metric a very very new space okay so i'll read over this uh, we will talk i mean the only reason this is here is to have a visual while i talk about apecoin and what's going on um with the again play to earn gaming and why that impacts uh this uh, the, this segment uh, decentralized sandbox so that is just a little visual take a look at apecoin it's honestly a sick look i mean it's a sick little logo um and yeah we're not going to dive super deep into it here but I, I do want to touch on it briefly because it was a very big subject in the metaverse sector this past week, of course. Okay. And then at the very end of the video, after we look at the charts, I do want to, to recommend you guys a little piece of content. So this is Tim Ferriss. Been listening to Tim Ferriss for the better part of the past decade. One of the first podcasts I started listening to back in like 2014. So this was just released and this is an interview with Mark Zuckerberg. And I know, especially in this part of the market, uh, Mark uh, Mark Zuckerberg, obviously the the founder of Facebook, now Meta, the I mean the kingpin of the de uh, the the absolute antithesis to the decentralized metaverse, in the sense that he is behind the most centralized form of the metaverse. And wherever you may fall on um, 
you you want things to be decentralized you want things to be absolutely centralized uh, i'm assuming most of you want them to be absolutely decentralized and there's nothing wrong with that but the reality is moving forward web3 um, this entire landscape the entire ecosystem once things get to scale there is always aspects of centralization that are mixed in so like web3 for example you see all these all these venture capitalists from like a16z which is one of the largest like venture funds in the world talking about crypto and nfts and how bullish they are on web3 and that's because they own such a significant amount of it so it's as decentralized as even these crypto projects might seem and as web3 might seem as nfts might seem there's always some big money behind the picture that is driving the narrative forward because that's just capitalism okay so understand that regardless this is a great interview i listened to i mean what, what is that like eight tenths of it um this morning and uh i do have a specific part of this that i want to recommend to you guys so stick around to the end for that uh but before we do dive in to talking about this you know what we'll, we'll do this and then we'll jump into coin mark cap and then we'll move into the charts and talk these price targets but i do first want to kick it off by reading through the intro to the newsletter that i wrote this morning because i i, I went bonkers on the metaverse just seeing everything that's going on i was really excited about it i was significantly more excited about it than uh, most parts of the equity markets which we usually talk about so I do want to read this because I went hard on the metaverse and then we'll dive into some of the news and uh, the price action. All right. So uh, that's not that. Let's go. Also, you guys, I do want to let you know that even when I am gone, even if I'm out of town, even if I don't post a video on YouTube for a while, I always go hard. And if not harder on the news that I write this every morning, this is my job. The YouTube is, is supplemental to this, honestly, and the YouTube is just kind of a passion project just because I like being here for you guys, and I do enjoy making content. This is the start of it, but this is my job, and honestly, I put way more time into the newsletter every morning than the YouTube, okay? So obviously plug that after, but let's read through this bad boy now every day the positivity we're seeing the equity market is cool but what's really exciting me right now is the crypto market more specifically the metaverse subsector of the crypto market the central line and sandbox have been some of the major market leaders over the past couple of days and i feel like we could finally be catching the second wave that we've been waiting for Decentraland is currently hosting the first ever Metaverse Fashion Week with reputable names like Dolce & Gabbana and Tommy Hilfiger taking part. This isn't only a massive step into the future for Decentraland, but for the Metaverse space as a whole. Another catalyst that has created momentum behind the sector is the launch of Yuga Labs, Board Ape Yacht Club, and now CryptoPunk. So if Yuga Labs, the founder of Board Ape, Board Ape Yacht Club, did recently acquire CryptoPunk. So, this is, uh, I mean, they, they are definitely the kingpin the primary player, the top dog in the NFT space um, with the launch of their ape coin. So shout out to the ape coin. Again, we'll talk about that a little bit, a little bit and a little bit. Okay. Yuga Labs plans to create a play to earn game with ape coin being the native currency similar to Mana and Decentraland and Sand to Sandbox. Okay. So what ape is to this play to earn game that uh, Yuga Labs wants to create is the same thing. Again, it's a native currency and that's why I'm so bullish on mana and sand i guess i can just talk about it now because it's the primary point and when you have native currencies okay think about native currency you're thinking about the the us dollar you're thinking about the us dollar to the united states of america right just the base example that we can all understand what these are is native currencies to their own world to their own digital countries and that's kind of what these are they're their own miniature economies they're their they're their own economies and in that sense they're uh, they kind of have their own GDP and they have their, um, again, their native currency. Uh, so, Mana is to the central line sandbox, is the sandbox what ApeCoin is to the game. And uh, because there, there's so much hype and I don't want to <laughs> discount the competency and uh, the, the, the potential that Yuga Labs has to execute. But right now they don't have that play to earn game yet. They just raised, I mean, they just raised a massive round at like a four at a four billion dollar valuation which is crazy and that's just that's not even including the ape coin itself which is absolutely uh bananas I, pun not intended but pun intended now that's bananas and uh yeah plays like i mean decentraland and sandbox they just have a lot more grounding at this moment in time again not to say that ape coin uh yuga labs ape can't scale but right now decentraland mana and sandbox and sand have a lot more scale than this little coin right here but again We'll see where this goes in the future let me know down in the comments below once again um if you guys want me to cover this someday but i don't know i'm i'm a lot more interested in mon and sand 
okay to sum this up the metaverse is hot right now there aren't many sectors across the financial markets that are actually creating excitement so the fact that this one makes me even more the fact that this one is makes me even more bullish on it when there aren't many options it makes the decision that much easier a little shout out at the end don't forget about our equity play in the space tokens.com or smurf let me know in the comments down below if you guys are familiar with tokens.com or if you want me to make a video about tokens.com because i'm planning on it and i definitely do so let me know if you guys are are familiar with this one yet but considering this company is one of the largest metaverse real estate buyers in the business so um it's awesome to be able to play equities in a market where the the crypto market is way more exciting than the equity markets right now so uh again shout out to tokens.com just keep an eye out for that video on the way and before we dive into this bad boy and the charts, of course, you guys, if you want my complete portfolio and daily newsletter, this is the newsletter. This is only part one. And the second part, I include charts. I include full in-depth analysis where we covered. I mean, this morning was like Bitcoin, BitFarms, Decentraland, and uh, uh, an, an in-depth analysis on uh, tokens.com or Smurf. And uh, that's in part two with charts. And again, a more in-depth analysis. If you want that newsletter every trading day during market hours, along with a complete breakdown of my entire personal portfolio, literally every position in my personal portfolio, which I do update as well. And I also explain the trades I make on a daily basis in the newsletter to complement the portfolio update. Okay. So if you guys want that, that is going to be the first link down below. Join the hundreds of others who are signed up and who are part of of the true waves fam and uh yeah if you're interested that's 50 bucks a month or 40 bucks for every three months appreciate it if you guys check that out but if not no worries at all i appreciate you watching right now and uh again feels good to be back let me know what you guys think about this too i'm gonna i'm gonna be switching it up but let me know what you guys think about the new little new little set in the back here okay so that's that you guys all plugs all plugs whatnot out of the way aside from please give the video a like because i appreciate it and subscribe to the channel if for some reason you're not yet subscribed to the channel okay so let's read through this guy decentraline eyes rally ahead of metaverse fashion week decentraline is about to kickstart its first metaverse fashion week adding upward pressure to mata key takeaways decentraline's first metaverse fashion week commences tomorrow renowned fashion brands like dolce and gabbana and tommy hilfiger are participating mana looks poised to benefit from the increased hype surrounding decentraline Moving on, Decentraland hosts Metaverse Fashion Week starting tomorrow, which is today because this article was released tomorrow. Um, starting tomorrow, Decentraland will host a four-day virtual catwalk featuring multiple runway shows, after parties, and pop-up shops. The event will occur in Decentraland's luxury faction district and is set to feature a host of big names from the fashion world, including DNG, Tommy Hilfiger, Dundas, and Etro. Don't know what those other two are. That's why I didn't mention in the newsletter. But it let if if you guys know what those are, let me know. Several digital fashion brands, including The Fabricant, will virtually showcase their new collections. Through Metaverse Fashion Week, we endeavor to broaden the horizon of what Metaverse means. We just leveled up the playing field for the world of fashion and decreased the limitations. Even in the Metaverse, you'll be needing a fit. <laughs> fit, quote unquote, in the quotes. Decentraline Foundation's creative director, Sam Hamilton, said in a press release. Okay, so... Again, you guys, although, I mean, and, and we've seen Adidas partner with Sandbox. We've seen so many reputable brands, so many massive brands partnering with Decentraline, with Sandbox, with Board Ape, Board Ape Yacht Club. Again, I mean, Ape is, this is a this is a cultural phenomenon, right? You see, you see Eminem, you see Neymar, you see freaking Kylie Jenner buying these apes, right? So they have the brands. And ultimately, you guys, that's all, especially crypto is. I've been in in branding right i've been in marketing for a long time and i've been in crypto for a long time and there's so many parallels between the two spaces and it all comes down to hype it all comes about the eyeballs that you're able to attract to your project and uh, obviously it takes a great product it takes great um software hardware all, all the above it takes a great product but when it comes down to it when it comes i mean when it comes down to price appreciation at the end of the day, it's what can attract the most eyeballs and what can create the best brand that people want to be a part of, okay? Obviously, again, utility, product means a lot, but branding creates the hype and the momentum where you see those crazy parabolic rallies like we did back here, and hopefully we're seeing again. Okay, so before we talk these upside price targets, let's take a quick look at the leaderboards here. So Decentraland um, is at the top of the crypto metaverse, of course, with the market cap of five bill, up 11% in the past seven days, pretty much flat in the past 24 hours. Axie Infinity 
in the wake of again all of this hype around play to earn gaming is looking strong uh, up 17 and a half percent past 24 hours 45 percent in the past seven days but actually infinity did go through a pretty crazy um dash and crash along with a lot of the metaverse subsector but still a lot of hype around play to earn gaming so again let me know down below what your favorite play to earn gaming project is and, uh, and maybe i will make a, uh, a video about it one of these days okay so Axie definitely catch on to some of the waves from this bad boy and uh, sandbox actually trailing behind Axie with a mark cap of 3.8 bill up 10% in the past uh, seven days similar to Decentraland and lastly Ape down 4% but this thing is going crazy um, Ape is up 35% in the past seven days with a mark cap crazy right behind sandbox at 3.5 billy okay so that's that you guys let's close out the video and call it a day by talking some price action and uh that is that so good old model we're on the daily charts here because we are keeping this one more macro before i get bullish because obviously this price target right here is extremely bullish and i want to i want to reiterate the fact that it is extremely optimistic if we see this price target hit that would represent an over 105 percent um appreciation from current levels at about two dollars and 65 cents um because this price target is set at about five dollars and 40 cents so just keep that in mind but hey it's crypto we've seen it happen before we saw i mean from, from levels we're currently at back in November to uh, to the high we saw. So from the level we're currently at at about 265 to the high at like six bucks, that only took, what was that? November 25th to November 12th. So that only took about two weeks, okay? 12 days to reach um, the levels we are now to that high, which is still above the price target I have set. And uh, this is actually set out for just under a month. So uh, it's crazy. But again, you guys, it's crypto. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of emotion involved. Um, and you have to play the game theory of it, of course. But it's possible. We know it's possible. All right. So the caveat to that is that, and this applies to Sandbox as well, and many other crypto coins, even Bitcoin and Ethereum, the volume is significantly lower, which is why it is less likely that we see a move this parabolic. But hey, do we see an organic climb up? Possibly, like this right here. There's still little volume, but it's possible to see it. Uh, regardless, there is still significantly less volume than there was back here. If you just look, um, this is where that's why I'm going like this. You can see the volume. Obvious back here, crazy back here, crazy volume, crazy momentum. Again, hype, um, the branding drop drives the hype drives the momentum ultimately drives the price action and uh, right now we're not seeing the volume so volume is very very critical to reaching some of these high levels that we saw in the past so that's like that's obviously something that could stand in our way but uh, it's still looking bullish again there's a lot of fundamental um intangible progress being made in the metaverse sector and uh, hey maybe we see it again maybe we see that resurgence because even the equity markets are looking a little more promising right now okay so uh technical technic <laughs> technicality technically we have broken out so mana just a few days ago i guess technically uh about a week ago did break a very significant of, uh, line of long-term resistance dating all the way back to its all-time high back in november okay touch point here multiple touch points on the way down broke above it came up you see a little hesitance on the breakout really dancing on the line of previous resistance as new support but in the past few days we have seen that little rally in mana and uh, there are a few levels standing in the way you guys again when when we're on our way back up when we're seeing a break of resistance or support up or down uh you just have to it's best just to look at previous levels that have acted as ceilings and floors in the past support and resistance in the past and uh, take an eye on those so I mean, even in the newsletter this morning, we, we played Bitcoin's level perfectly. And again, you guys, it's really just eyeballing here. There's no method. There's, there's somewhat of a method to the madness, but it's just looking at charts for the, like the past decade. And sometimes you just you just catch on to it. So time time really does pay off. But anyway, there are just levels to keep an eye on. These are the levels that I'm personally eyeballing. We just tested this, probably come back down, test this previous high over here at like 255. But then I do think we'll make our way back up to like the 315 area. This is the second level I'm eyeballing. Um, but again, if the momentum does pick up, which is the massive if, right? You guys, if momentum does pick up, if people get bullish again, if all this hype around the metaverse and play to earn gaming sticks and brings back the volume, brings back the momentum, brings that back the capital to this sector of the market, then hey, maybe we test TA 101, previous support as new resistance. Now there's two lines of previous support here. Long-term support right here, support, 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 support. Retested right here, confirmed as new resistance. This previous line of longer term support, does coincide with this shorter term line of support that was broken and has not yet been retested these two lines 
Apex over here on April 20th at $5.45. So again, is this guaranteed to happen? Absolutely not. Would it be very satisfying and would we be absolutely stoked if it did happen? I do think so. So let's see if we can see 550 by mid to late April. Let's talk about sand. It's pretty much the same thing. You guys, I'm not going to go on that same rant because all the same, like the same principles apply. These are very similar charts. But sand is in breakout mode as well. Sand's line of resistance is actually a lot cleaner and a lot more solid than mana. So touch point here, touch point here, touch point here. Uh, we did break above that. Sand came up, tested similar to mana, broke above it, retested, just kind of danced, hugged the line of previous resistance as new support, but used it as very strong support, which you like to see. And uh, we are on our way back up now. You could also say this is kind of a massive, massive bull flag playing out, which is our favorite, the Waves fans' favorite pattern. Massive parabolic move following by descending triangle we have broken out almost perfectly of the tip of this descending triangle and uh, again you guys i think the second wave could very well be here uh second wave i mean this is like this is the two wave textbook so just or this is the textbook two wave when you're playing hype cycles and momentum right the first wave brings the attention brings the eyeballs brings excitement little pop uh people who held all the way down here for a while are taking some profits uh but then you always see that second wave once people really get excited about it and more and more and more people learn about it okay so always look for that first pop because it's almost likely it's almost it's almost always likely that if you see something from flat see a parabolic rally like this um fall a little bit and then uh, and, and then go flat you'll oh, almost always see that second wave play out especially that is of course if we're in a very hype driven um money hungry market okay uh, actually a good example of that recently is the waves token I, I haven't been covering that unfortunately i didn't even get in that but in retrospect it should have been so obvious and i should have played it but waves token is a, is a very good example of that uh, just recently okay uh look at the chart it'll look exactly like that but anyway sandbox upside price target previous support new resistance uh boom support not yet tested as new resistance uh that would come into play kind of similar to where mana fell like relative to its all-time high maybe like 10 15 percent below its all-time high um that would take sand to april 20th i just want to make the same price target april 20th that would take sand to about seven dollars and 25 cents representing over 110 percent gain from current levels okay so again we'll call it there you guys uh i hope you enjoy this it feels good to be back uh let me know in the comments down below are you holding that baggie of sand that baggie of mana what are you holding the bigger bag of is it render is it engine is it some of these play to earn games like axie infinity or did you pick up a whole bunch of eight let me know down below also let me know what content you guys want to see what what projects do you want me to talk about? Because again, this is very exciting. I'm excited to talk about this stuff because the equity marks have been a bit more boring lately. So let me know in the comments down below. I look forward to engaging with you guys and I'll catch you downstairs. Okay. Till next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.